right, guys. So I want to show you really quick. Somebody was asking me, so of course, you know, I'm going to give you the tea of how I actually create these really, really dope um, frames uh, to show the receipts of people who've shared testimonials of working with me. Now, this can work for you as well. You can even have people to share videos of like how much they loved your book for my authors. For those of you who are speakers and you want to get somebody to share how dynamic of a speaker you are, like this can work for anything, right? So, you know, right now when it comes to business, we got a lot of people out here coaching. And so we're, what's going to separate you? Of course, you want to have a book. We already know that. But you also want to have some receipts of people who have worked with you. So this is powerful. What? So I'm going to show you how I made this little frame. It's really, really easy to make. I'm going to make this really quick and um, go ahead and... Uh, Put it all together so i made it in canva okay and well it's two parts so i'm going to do this part in canva and then i'm actually going to use um another thing uh in uh you know what i'm gonna try something i have never tried it on here and if not then i'm gonna try it. i have three different softwares that i got actually gotta use to make this so one you might not be able to do so and i'll tell you what the alternative would be uh, however, hopefully, maybe I can do it in here. So anyway, so as you can see, this is Canva Designs. I'm just going to create a new one just so you can see how to make it real quick. So I'm going to start off with calling it receipts, of course. And then uh, the first, I have a video testimonial from one of my clients. Her name is Joyce. So I'm going to put Joyce's name in here. And then what else did I put? Oh, yeah. Join my free masterclass, because, of course, we always want to do a call to action. And, you know, when people go to register for my free masterclass, they also get the opportunity to purchase my book. OK, join my free masterclass. And then we're going to get an arrow. Pointing right. Also, this is going to be reduced in size because it needs to fit right here like this uh mm, let me see that's probably still too big um uh, let's see i'm gonna do a simple arrow like this and change it to red boom and boom all right joy free master class actually let's see something yeah no joy free master class and then i'll just do like that and uh, let's put the link to the masterclass. Here we go, which is www.10kbook.com. All right. Uh -oh. All right. We're going to reduce the size of this. Make that bold. Also, you know what? I want to. Join, I don't want all caps. Join my free masterclass. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move this over here. Actually, I'm going to do like so. Let me get a different arrow, like with a curve. Okay, let's see. They got something with a nice little curve that I can use. Um... This could work. So we're going to flip it and turn it. Okay. And size it to so like that. Okay. Okay. So let me move this up over here. And remember, I had like a little image of a receipt. So I'm going to show you how to get that as well. So I'm going to pull this over. Pull this over here up. And boom, pull that down a bit. Matter of fact, it's going to be a video. Well, no, nah, it ain't going to work that way. Okay, so um, then what we're going to do is let me get a receipt. So receipt, I'm up here looking in Element for receipts that look real. So here's the receipts that look like real receipts. Okay. And then I had like a line, well, I didn't have a line, but this is what I'm gonna do. So now I'm also going to put like a nice little background, which is books, uh, book background. Um, so I probably need to go to book background. Okay. And this one, I like this one right here. So I'm gonna do like so. Actually, let me move this up just a bit more. And I'll make her name bigger. 
Let me see her. All right. Actually, I think I'm going to center this and join my free master class. I probably, I'm about to remove this arrow because it's just not looking right. Okay. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Move it over. Okay. Boom. All right. So now we have this background that we're going to use. And I'm going to actually crop it out a little bit. I don't want that bottom part. There we go. And then we're going to move this to the back. And then we're going to adjust it and blur it a bit. Just like that, real simple. Okay. Then I'm going to find a picture of me. Let's see, I'll use this one. It's a popular picture. Now, in order to fix it, I'm going to crop it like so. Okay. Make it bigger. And. Okay. Then we need to remove the background. So effects. Background remover. And the video that I have of Joyce is like a wide video. So I'm going to actually um, get a template for that. But I need to stand out a little bit. You see how I'm not standing out? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this image. And then what we're going to do is go to effects. We're going to, I'm sorry, adjust. We're going to blur it a bit. And then I'm going to make the brightness be white. Okay. And then I'm going to put that behind so backwards, backwards, backwards. And it kind of gives me a glow. You see that? <laughs> Canva is fire, bro. Okay. So then, uh, then what we're going to do is, uh, let me move this up. We're going to make this red. Okay. And then we're going to make this red. So it sticks out. Okay. And move that up just a bit because I feel like it's not together. Okay. And then I'm going to go over here to upload. I'm sorry, to elements. And I'm going to do uh, laptop. I'm going to see if they got MacBook. Okay. Oh, look at this one. Do I like that one? Or no? I need to move myself over still. Move out the way. Hold on. I don't want to move the background though. So we'll move that over just a bit. And we'll do just like this. Now, um, let me see. How big is that? I don't see. Oh, yeah. No, I like the monitor better. So I'm just going to take this, copy this. But it's like computer monitor or something. Here we go. Yeah, that's much better. Let me make sure I put that behind me, though. Position backward, backward. Okay, great. And then, as you noticed, I want to actually remove. Uh, so you see I put this little green thing here. So there is a purpose in that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, this little shape right here. And I'm just going to put it on the inside. All right. Because what I'm making essentially is a frame. Okay. And I'll show you what I mean. Just a second. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Check this out. Make sure it's nice and scented. I'm going to make it just a nice bright green um, so I can cut it out. Okay. Perfect. So I have the name. And then I also want to, if I want to add, okay, so I might add my logo right here. So I'm just going to copy here, but you can upload all this stuff right here. And honestly, I can probably move this down a bit. Yep. And then make this even bigger. Right? So we want that to pop out. Okay. I'm going to center these two right here. 
I'm gonna center it with her name, and then I'm gonna leave this like that. There we go. Great. I'm gonna move this receipt to be in front as well. Forward, forward. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna download this picture. So I'm just gonna download four that I just made. And once you've made the frame, you don't, you know, if you want to use this frame again, you don't have to remake it. You just change the person's name, right? So now what I'm going to try to do though is I'm going to see if I can add it to here. Because if I can add it to here, then I can eliminate one of the other softwares. If not, then you're going to have to figure out a way with some kind of software eliminator. I use Photoshop. Um, but what we're trying to remove is the background this green. So I don't know if it's going to do that though. So let's see, uh, effects. Yeah, that's not, it's not going to work. So I don't really know as of right now how to actually remove the green or to select a specific C cause it removed the whole thing. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to Photoshop, which you can get a uh, Photoshop for a monthly fee. Uh, of course, you know, with me being in the book world, we use a lot of Photoshop. A lot of illustrator for our cover designs and things like that but i use photoshop as well and so all i'm going to do real quick is remove that green background so that i can then insert in the testimonial video so all you got to do is go over here to background magic eraser tool and you select the color that you want to eliminate i'm going to select this green as you can see it's still left a little bit of green so i need to go up here and change this tolerance to 100 Boom. There we go. So much better. So then I'm just going to save this image as the PNG and the next software that I'm going to use, I'm going to close this because Photoshop can take up some space. And we're going to go to a software called Camtasia. Now this is what I use for animating. I mean, for editing video, um, there's different ones out there. MacBook actually has, um, a free software. I forget what is the name of that now. Final Cut Pro which is one, but that's a more advanced one. Y'all don't need iMovie. It's called iMovie. So iMovie is what comes on a Mac and for uh, PCs. I'm not sure, but Camtasia is definitely one that you can invest in. It does have a little bit of an investment though. So, you know, but it has a lot of great features. So well, I actually realized after the fact that you can remove the green screen in Camtasia. So I wanted to show you that first. So when you log into Camtasia, this is kind of like what the interface looks like. And first thing, what we want to do is because the frame is a square, we want to change the fit of it. So we're going to go here to project settings, right? So I'm going to go here and then you're going to change the dimension to Instagram. So that's really cool. They even have a Facebook cover photo that you can do, but I'm just going to use Instagram. And then we're going to go ahead and click apply. Now what I want to do is drag in that frame we just designed on Canva. Um, now, because I already actually did save the one that I just made and removed the background. I'm actually going to download another one real quick. So let me, um, okay. So let me go ahead and download this. So I'm going to download again, a four and click download. And then we're going to go over to Camtasia where we just, um, made that new fol folder. And we're going to download, um, well, we're going to actually insert in this picture that we made. So here's the picture. Looks great. Then you're going to go over here to visual effects, visual effects. And you're going to see something that says to remove color. So here we go. We're going to remove the color. So I'm going to drag this. I'm going to click on this and drag this to here. As you can see, it automatically removed that green, but I want to increase the tolerance just a bit because I can still see a little bit of the green right here. So I'm going to increase this tolerance just a tad more. Perfect. And let's see. Okay, great. So now it is removed. Now what we want to do is we want to drag that video in to this frame. Okay. So you don't even have to do all of that Photoshop, but you know, whatever, I'll leave it in the video. So let's go ahead and drag in that, um, testimonial. So let's see, here we go. We're going to drag that in, drop it into here. Now, what we want to do is we want to move this testimonial underneath. 
so that it can fit inside of this frame. So as you can see, her, her, here's her video. This is Joyce's beautiful video. But if you notice something, now I'm gonna stretch this frame to go all the way to the end as well. And you just wanna drag and, dra drag and stretch it, right? But if you notice, her video is kind of offside. So what I'm gonna do is click on the um, actual track and I wanna resize it so it fits inside this actual computer design. So we're gonna resize it. So like so, like that. So now it looks more like it's actually coming from the computer, right? So that looks great. And then just for the late, the look of the the land, I did, and sure. you should too. I'm gonna cut this last portion. All right, great. And then we're gonna go over here to transitions. And I like using this fade through black, but you know they have a lot of really cool transitions that people like to use. Uh, but I'm just going to use this simple one. So I'm going to fade to black. Boom, boom. And then here we go. Hi, I am Joyce Chesley Hayward with Fusion 4, the number four business. And I am giving this testimonial. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Now all you got to do is export it. Now, I will export both this size. And then once I'm done with that, I go back up here to the top. And I want to change the project settings and I want to now do this iPhone because on Instagram, being that this is longer than 60 seconds, it's going to ask if I want to make this like an IGTV, which I do, right? Because I don't want it to cut any of the testimonial. So then I'm going to uh, change the layout so that I can make it long because if you just post it with the square, it actually will cut off the left and the right side of your diagram. So I'm going to go ahead and resize this. And, and save one for Instagram long. Now, when you resize both of them together, as you can see, it kind of throws off the image a little bit or the, the video. So I want to make sure I drag and drop it into there. Great. And then when you export this one, I'll just export this as like IG so that I know that this is specifically for Instagram. The other ones, I'll post those on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, things of that nature. Okay, so this one will specifically go to Instagram and then the other will go to the other social media profiles. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please make sure to also give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, or anything, leave a question or comment below and I promise to get back to you. All right, have yourself a wonderful day. God bless you.